If I say the sentence, don't think of a pink elephant, you immediately think of a pink elephant. But what does it mean to think about a pink elephant? What is thinking? I'm Travis, this is Curious Tangents, and today we'll be discussing the different types and styles of thinking. Now back to that pink elephant, let's introspect. When you thought of it, was it an image of a pink elephant? Did you hear the words in your head, pink elephant? Or did you just connect that pink and elephant are illogical? This question, however silly, can tell you a lot about yourself. Visual thinkers would have actually had an image of an elephant pop up in their head. Verbal thinkers would have heard the words pink elephant play over in their head. And pattern thinkers would have connected that that's illogical or connected it to something else. Now, it's likely that most of you could do all three. However, there are people who can only do one or two which means that there are people without inner monologues and there are people without inner sight and people who don't think in patterns and connections. Now, inner monologues function on a type of spectrum. There are people whose inner narrators simply never stop going, such as me, and there are other people who only use their inner narrator for tasks like reading and writing. There are also people who, in order to put a thought into words, would have to physically say those words. People without inner narrators tend to be more visual thinkers. People who are deaf also tend to be more visual thinkers, obviously. However, what's not so obvious is that this indicates that your internal narrator is from external factors. The voice that you hear in your head did not come from inside of your head at least not initially. You had to internalize it over time and exposure. Although it may at times seem like you can hear your inner narrator, it does not cut on your brain's auditory cortex, unless you are imagining dialogue. This means that in the middle of the night or during a shower when you're replaying arguments from the eighth grade that you are now miraculously winning, your brain is engaging the auditory cortex even though there's no sound around you. On top of some people not having inner monologues, there are also some people who do not have inner sight, a condition called aphantasia. People with this condition often think that the term mind's eye is just a metaphor, which I guess it is, but it's a metaphor referring to a specific action of thinking of images, something they themselves cannot actually do. This is also called blind imagination, and blindness is really the reason why I made this. You see, if everyone is colorblind, then no one is colorblind. Not effectively, at least. We often talk about what we think about. In fact, it's the only thing to talk about. What we don't often talk about is how we think those thoughts. And that makes the discussion very interesting. And to keep that discussion going, comment below if you don't have an inner monologue or if you don't have inner sight, or if you think in some other way that I failed to mention. And while you're thinking about that, think about subscribing to Curious Tangents and hitting the bell. However, YouTube does not always notify people who hit the bell and subscribe to me. So also follow me on Twitter where I will tweet every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching.